Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, August 20th. I want to wish everybody out there a happy Passover. It's supposed to, we have no birthdays today. It's supposed to rain today all day, and tomorrow it's supposed to be nice. But look, I got a coat on today. The other day I had a sweatshirt. It's just, I don't know. I just don't know. I really don't. Um, I'm trying to get my hair when it's wet to go the way I want it to since she kind of did avoid my colics too well but uh, that's the only problem when you go to a place like that I go to Great Clips you get somebody different every time you can ask for the same person but then you got to go when they work and I just go at the fly by the seat of my pants it's just the day today I decide to get my hair cut so I can't go by that um, I wanted to pe apologize to Peggy over at Color Me Influenced because I did watch her video the other day, uh, the perfect subscriber tag, and I told her I was going to share it, and I forgot. <laughs> but I definitely will remember today, Peggy. I'll put you on the video today. Sorry. So sorry. But um, I was watching um, Lisa and Norm, Weight Watchers and more, uh, yesterday, and she was talking about that there was some kind of accident or something when she got out of work and all she wanted to do was just get home just get home it reminded me of um, when Jim and I first bought our first house <clears throat> we had rented, when we first got married we rented an upper flat that we lived in for uh, five years we had really nice really nice landlord we really liked her but this opportunity opened up to have a uh, rent a house right next door to the school that I wanted my kids to go to and the rent was just, I think, $50 more. And we kept thinking, oh my gosh, how are we going to come up with $50? <laughs> but you know what? You always find the money when you need it. So then we lived, we moved there. And, and it was a regular house. It was a really nice house. It had two bedrooms on the first floor, and then it was a bungalow. So the whole upstairs was just one giant big room. It had a finished basement. And it was two blocks from my mother's. And, you know, I had my being alone issues and so that was nice to know that she was so much closer and uh, so we lived there for well, a little over 10 years and then we were looking for a house to buy and like I had said before that Jim was in construction so he was working all around and he was working all of his jobs were working way north of Detroit so we, we decided that we were going to move north of Detroit and so we ended up here uh, in New Baltimore and um, as soon as we landed the, as soon as we got the house here no wait a minute, I take that back no 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 we bought a house in Clinton Township um, that was just a little bit north because it was like at uh, 16 mile road what man you wouldn't know that unless you lived in the area it was about um, about 15 minutes from where we lived but it was like Jim was working out this way so it, it, it worked out that this is where we wanted to live out this way and uh, so we lived there for 10 years and then uh, well we left the, the cottage for 10 years and we moved there I know I'm getting confused sorry we moved from the house next to the church to the house that we first house that we bought uh, we lived there for 10 we went there and we lived there for 20 years until we moved out here and we've been here for 13 years now anyway no that isn't eh, it's just like filler food <laughs> but anyway um so when we left the house next to the church and we moved into our house that we liked uh, over uh, it was called uh, we lived on Thornton and when we moved under the Thornton house I was with we the very second first night or second night I came down with the flu I was so sick. I was just so sick. I just, I, I'd never been that sick in my life. It was just so bad. And I remember waking up Jim and telling him I wanted to go home. He says, what are you talking about? I said, I want to go home. I don't feel good. I want to go home. He says, we are home. And I go, no, this is not my home. This is the house that we bought. This is not my home. I want to go home. He didn't understand that. He didn't understand what I was trying to say. So I was sick in a house that I was not comfortable with. And I think everybody knows that feeling. That you just want to go home. It's just what you want to be comfortable. And I think a lot of times that's why we choose the food that we choose. Because it's just comfortable. It just makes us feel better. Um, 
it's not, it's just something physical. It's not anything. I don't know. It's just it's just a feeling of comfort that you get, and and nothing can replace it. Like my my home could not replace that house. Eventually, it did. Just like this Weight Watcher thing, eventually we'll catch on that this is the way I'm going to eat all the time. I, um, I'm making small steps. I made good choices when I ate out this past week. Um, although I wanted to go home, <laughs> which in my heart meant eat whatever I want. And I thought, no, I have to make this my new home. This new, this new way of eating is my new home. And I know that makes no sense. It makes sense to me. A lot of things I say, people say, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. But it makes sense to me. It's like when I was sick, and all I wanted to do was go home because I didn't feel good. That's what I want to, this is why I want this way to eat and feel like, like it's home. Like this is natural. This is how I've eaten my whole life. Although it's not. But it's getting there. It really is truly getting there. And I know that's nonsense, but you know, anyway. <laughs> I try, like when I tell a story, I kind of like to relate it to my current life because, as I say, you learn from the past. And hopefully, I learned that even though I got better, that the house became a home, and that's what I know that this can be. I just give it the, op the right opportunity. Okay, and then just before I went to bed last night, I was watching. Smack Vision, and Caitlin had me rolling. She had me laughing so hard I couldn't go to bed. I had to watch a couple more videos because she woke me up. She just completely woke me up. When she was trying to open up that fish package because she was making some tilapia, which by the way looked absolutely nasty. Oh, even before she cooked it, it looked bad. And the look on her face was how I looked when I first saw the fish. But <laughs> That's neither here nor there. But anyway, she... Um, she was um, trying to get the fish open, and it reminds me of, I can never, for the life of me, get these stupid, and I know I shouldn't say that, my family, you couldn't say stupid, but these cheese stick things, I, these little kids, they just pop them open, and I'm like, you know, trying to get the thing to divide it up, to open it up, I can never get it open. And another thing I really struggle with is those, I was going to say stupid again, is those little drink boxes and drink packs like the Capri Suns where you pop the straw in. I'm like I can't get it. And then Sophia will come and she'll go, mm, and she'll start drinking. I can't I can't manage those anyhow. But anyway, um Caitlin must live in a place that she can't have pets because she just loves her sister's pets so much that it was just it was made me happy to see. That's how Christy is with her Daisy. But I, that's how I was with my Riley. But I'm not ready for another pet yet. One day I'll have another pet, but I'm just not ready right now. But, Caitlin, you had me laughing. You really had me laughing. And she's the only one I've ever known that puts ketchup on their fish. Because when I go to the restaurant and get fish and chips, I ask for uh, tartar sauce because that's what I dip my fries in. I dip my fries in the tartar sauce and I eat the fish with the ketchup. But, and, just so you know, uh, there's a no sugar ketchup out there. It tastes pretty good. I bought it once by mistake. Sorry, I'll be honest. I bought it by mistake. But, uh... I liked it. I really did. did. And nobody noticed the difference. And so whenever I see it, I buy it. Well, okay, uh, let's go see what we did. I did pretty, I wasn't trying to lose weight this week. I was just, you know, doing it because it was Holy Week. But uh, let's, let's hopefully I got some sort of reward out of it. But if I don't, who am I kidding? I'm going to be upset. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I did have... <clears throat> I had a gain, a 0.4 gain. I uh, told you this week, and I'm really fine with it, and I know I say this all the time, blah, blah, blah. Sandy, you say that all the time, and then you go off the rails. I told you that this week was not about losing weight. It was because it was Holy Week, and it's what I wanted to do. I was going to do it no matter what, whether I lost weight or didn't lose weight. I think this just proves the theory that you have to eat to lose weight because I was way under my points every day. Um, I didn't eat enough. And um, I did eat out twice, so it could be a little bit of a sodium gain. But I wanted to thank Michelle for the stickers because I'm still using them. I did put good job, good week. Um, I should gain 0.4. I'll show you that so you... Why would I lie? You know, but anyway, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I did put the two stickers, good job, good week, because uh, <clears throat> I, I, I did what I wanted to do this week. I 
wanted to fast. I wanted to honor God. And, um, and I wasn't trying to lose weight this week. And if I would have lost weight, it would have been like a bonus. But um, like I said, it really wasn't my intention. So I'm fine with that. I, um, I'm just going to move on from here. I'm going to make smart choices tomorrow. And especially today, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to go crazy. And, um, and I'm, I know it sounds like I'm trying to convince myself. Maybe I am. But I did stop uh, afterwards and I just had a private one-on-one -on -one with my uh, leader. That's what I'm going to call her. But uh, Denise was very encouraging and helpful to me. And um, hopefully I'm out of this slump. I know um, psychologically I am out of the slump. My mind, my mindset is right. I, I'm not in that poor me attitude anymore. And I feel really good about it. And uh, just about everything in general, I feel really good about my plans for um, going forward and losing weight again because I am going to lose weight again. I know I am. And uh, part of it was just getting my mindset straight. And, and I, I do have that straight now. So even though I didn't have a loss, um, I don't think the week, the week was uh, a failure for me. Um, I succeeded in what I wanted to do and that was to fast and, and I did do it. So um, I'm going to be good tomorrow. I'm going to be good today. I'm going to be good all week. So I will talk to you guys at uh, breakfast where I'm going to have something healthy. Well, I know that Jim and I, uh, well, I know that Jim and I, I know that Jim and I did stuff today. I know I didn't film any more today because Jim and I got busy doing stuff today and uh, just here, there, going everywhere. So um, I didn't get to show you my meals. I did somewhat okay. I didn't do excellent, but I didn't do bad. And uh, tomorrow's Easter. We're going to go for breakfast at Danny's house. I'm going to go to church in the morning first, and then we're going to go to Christie's for dinner. And I'm going to stay on track. And I am going to film tomorrow because I think I have a birthday, and I know I have an anniversary. So I'll film a little bit before I go to church, and then uh, I will have a better vi video with a little bit more content <laughs> on Monday. So uh, give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys tomorrow.